everybody. How about we segment it in the sense that while you increase fuel prices as a result of removing subsidy, you might as well do it around the same time where minimum wage is being increased. Or see the situation even with foodstuff. Once you take off certain things, the inflation level gets higher. A basket of tomatoes have gone from about 3,000 naira to 7,000 naira. How are people surviving in the country? While it's important to ensure that leakages are being blocked and we do understand that we need to wait for a while for things to get better, it's always good to ensure that while you make decisions and changes, you also create means where the masses will benefit from it. At the end of the day, the goal is for the masses. And so we also have the Naira, which is meant to have a unified rate. But just yesterday, the Bank of America had reported that the Naira is currently being undervalued. But how are Nigerians reaping the benefits of that? How does that work for Nigerians? So yes, movement is important, but it should be in a positive direction. And the lives of the masses must be improved at every point in time. We have Tender with Entrepreneur Sports site. We have IO with our sports segment. And we do have very interesting conversations for you on lifestyle and politics. Don't go away. My name is Andy Madaki. See you after this break. <laughs>